Hello, it's me again, Greg. It's another tunnel take. Yeah, um, I got the pipe that I meant the lighter that uh that I won from Ryan's Gall, uh, Relax Piper. I just had to pull the uh the the wick up some to make it make this thing burn a little bit taller. Sleepy Hollow. Mm, mm, mm. Sleepy Hollow in a clean pipe. That's what I'm talking about. I was watching uh, um, Miguel, uh, Sailor Pac Man, and he was smoking some of the Autumn Evening. Now, Sleepy Hollow, Autumn Evening, um, Sutler's Molto Duce, um, all of them are in the same family, you know. Real mellow, real sweet, you know, just classic boosted aromatics for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm, that's so good. Shout out to uh, Tom, Northwest Pipe Smoker. Uh, his last video, he was on a sailboat. He was talking about the cost of owning a sailboat. A, a sailboat, you know, the, the the dock fee, the slip fee, whatever you want to call it, and uh, and some other cost he mentioned. And uh, that was nice to know. We had, yeah, I got I got seven children, and uh, all of them grown now. Um, Back in the 90s, must have been, um, I don't know, early to early mid 90s, 94, 95, something like that. Um, the family was getting so big that it was, and it was time for another vehicle. And, um, mm. And uh, I had people advise me to get a 50 pastor van you know, and all that stuff, you know. I got things and I said, well, what, you know, let's, let's consider getting us an RV, a small RV, you know. And I started looking at them, I said, dang, for this amount of money, a couple of thousand dollars more than a, than a, than a 15 passenger van. We can have a bathroom, a microwave, an oven, you know, good grief, look at what we can have. And that's what I did. I bought a eight, uh, twenty foot long uh, RV. You know, on the van chassis. You know, um, Chevrolet van with with the cut cut right behind the right behind the seats, and then the, the big box put on the back of Winnebago style. You know, that sort of thing. Of course, my wife she uh, she drove a school bus when she was younger, eighteen. You know, so she wasn't scare of anything big and that's why she uses the family vehicle for years and years sure it was yeah so so I, I got that RV in my blood, you know, that's that sort of thing. And I, I often thought, man, it would be cool to have a sailboat just to send a slip, 
and and it's and it's got all the amenities, the hookups right there, and everything. And you have a uh, you have uh, the, the dock workers. They'll come around, and, or I think I think there's probably a some self-employed guys that'll come around to your boat. You pay them gay much money every month. Or whenever you call them, you know. And they'll pump out your 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 tanks, your septic tanks and stuff like that. And I've always thought that would be so cool. You know, one time I was looking for a sailboat, just looking for a boat of any kind. That would be a sailboat. I'm not going to get out in the water. I get seasick. <laughs> but I do like the idea of having some place to get away. You know, just I take my bike. 30 miles away from here, 50 miles away from here for the day and just get on the sailboat, smoke a pipe. And it could be an RV, in an in a, in a RV park or something. There. It doesn't have to be a sailboat. I always thought that would be awesome. Well, what I'm mainly here for is um, I checked the mail while I go. And you remember I, I won Kirk Captain Kirk's um, golf, and uh, and the package came today. Let's open her up. See what's going on here. Okay, got a pipe rest. Cool. Oh, nice. I think. I think his friend Stacy makes these. Isn't that cool? Gosh, pipe rests like this are awfully convenient, I'm telling you. If you don't have a pipe rest like this, uh, see about getting one. It doesn't matter what size of pipe it is. It, they'll almost always fit in the thing. Oh, check it out. Holy smokes, a huge, a wide mouth uh, jar lid for this uh Sure enough, for this, uh, uh, oh, he's got tobacco in it. Oh, my goodness, that smells good. I've never smelled tobacco like this, and it's aromatic. Holy smokes, what kind of tobacco is that? I'm going to have to re-watch his gall to see what, what it is. Mmm, that smells good to me, y'all. Woo! Jeez. And that's some quality tobacco too. I, I've, I've smoked enough to know uh, what junk tobacco, whether or not some junk tobacco was, they were trying to make uh, smokable, you know, by adding a lot of additives to it. Mmm. Wow. That's awesome. Check that thing out. Huge. You can get a whole tin of tobacco in this thing probably. Indiana Pipe Club. Cool, Kurt. That is so neat. Okay. Libro note. Let's see if it gets too mushy. I don't want to read it out loud. <laughs> uh. Ah. Wilkies. Wilkies or Wilkes? Peanut butter and chocolate. Dag right. Delicious aromatic. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting the peanut butter coming through that thing. But it's a sweet peanut butter. Ah, yeah. I knew I'd smell that somewhere, but I knew I'd never smelled that in an aromatic before. Woo! Mm, that's next on the list right there. Woo, good enough. Okay, let's see what, okay. Ah, check it out. Got a, uh, a, um, a pipe plate. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> but, uh, it's got the snaps in all corners. Cool. So you put this, roll it up, right, roll it right up, put it in your pipe roll, you know. I can be sitting, I was sitting there at a, at a restaurant the other day smoking my pipe. And it is amazing how, how, uh, check it out. Look at that. Oh, uh, that is awesome. Thanks, y'all. Wow, Stacy does a great job. For sure. Wow, this is quality stuff. It's got 
a stamp in here. Can't quite make out, but it doesn't say anything in particular. I don't think it's just a design stamp. Anyway, um, yeah. thanks, Kurt. I appreciate it. I sure do. That's awesome. Great. Can't wait to get into the tobacco. I'm babysitting some hot dogs over here. Um, my wife found hot dogs this morning for packages of hot dogs for dollar twelve cent. Mm. If you want to come eat with us, you know what you're going to be eating for next week. <laughs> I got two packages in there on the grill cooking. Let me check things out. Make sure nothing's nothing's uh, getting overdone here. I think all right. Yeah, looking good. Flip here. Roll them around, Ted. Oh, yeah. Boy, that's getting nice. Tag right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Again, thanks, Kurt. Uh, what, a, what, a, what a great day. I mean, it's, it's 90 degrees, which is hot, but... but uh, but it's, it's not overly humid. Now, there were some guys came by here. Uh, uh, I think it was a husband and wife team um, that came by the house a while ago. And, and uh, I heard somebody talking outside my window there. So I peeked through my window. And uh, and I saw a couple of people out there in the orange vest. You know, not orange vest, but the green the high visibility green stuff. Before that, I noticed that uh, there was a car in my front yard with some cones around it. it said, uh, Greenville Utilities Gas Monitoring or something, you know. So I got out the front door and I said, hey, well, what y'all need? And he said, well, we're, 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 we, need, we, need, we need to check your gas line or something like that. Make sure there's no leak on their side type thing. He said, "He said the government makes makes uh, Greenville utilities do that three, uh, once every three years." I said, "Well, come on, come on, let's go around the, the gate on the other side of the house. We'll, we'll go around and check it." So I walked around it with him, and we were chit chatting. And the weather came up, you know, as it does all the time. He said, "This humidity is killing me." I was like, "Shoot, man, this ain't no humidity." He said, "Well." We're from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and um, and uh, and this is this is way out of line <laughs> with that living. You know, I said I said, man, I lived in Denver in inside the Beltline for two years, and I said I I love that weather. You know, it's just dry. I said I told him I said I said I only sweat one day in that whole two years I was there. Now, I had a two year contract to fit and flip, flip and, uh, to fix and flip houses with a financier. And, uh, and, uh, and the only reason I sweated that day because we were, we were putting tile in our floor and had the windows closed and, and all that mortar on the floor was evaporating, you know, all the moisture was in the room. And that, that's why, that's the only reason why I sweat, you know, because, uh, uh, in Denver, I mean, shoot, you hardly ever get hot. Um, and you hardly ever get cold because the humidity's so low, and uh, and you hardly ever sweat because your your the moisture sweat that's on you that's coming out of you that's keeping you so cool is evaporating so fast you don't drip any. You know? Anyway, I did love that living. That's for sure. I mean, one night I was out in the garage. It was 23 or 24 degrees, and uh, I stayed out there for three out three or four hours, three and a half hours, I think it was, building some cabinets. No gloves on, and I was fine, you know. Here in East North Carolina, if you, uh, if you're working out in a garage or something like that, unheated, you know, if it gets down under 40 degrees, your fingers are going to start getting stiff you know, a little bit because you, you're just getting cold, you know. That was back when I was young. Mm. I 
love the taste of pure tobacco without getting any of that smell that's left in a pipe from the pipe before. Well, yeah. Thank you, Kurt. I'll see you guys. Y'all have a good day now, all right?